Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Real Parts. How are you guys? I'm excited to be with you again. This is the sixth installment on my second Easter week of projects. And this week I'm focusing on punches and die cuts. In today's project, <clears throat> we are making this adorable chick. Isn't she cute? And she holds jelly beans in a cello bag. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make her. She's super cute. Every project this week has focused on this die set and it's called the Pierce Blooms Dies. It's a great little set. We've also used the scallop circles. And this is the size here, I guess it's the fourth largest scallop circle. So this one's the littlest. So we go one, two, three, four and it's the fourth one if you have a scallop punch you can use that as well that is what the wings are made out of and then i have chosen to run our little chick through this embossing folder right here it's the greenery embossing folder and it's super cute i'm gonna pull it out to show you what it looks like it has all these cute little leaves on here which to me looks like feathers right so we can use these on our little chick and give some feathers. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna be using the mini salmon cut and emboss machine today to show you how to do that once we have scored our paper. So definitely check out the um, Pierce Bloom dies. Today I'm using this large flower and then this is a top leaf from this larger leafed piece because I wanted a very small mouth on our little chickadee. So those are the pieces that I've used from the Pierce Blooms dies. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with a piece that is two and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long. So you can actually get a bunch of these out of a piece of eight and a half, 11, four of them. So it's quite economical. We're going to take our scoreboard out here and we're going to score the long side in two places. We're going to score it at three and three quarter inches and four and three quarter inches. Those are the only two score marks that you need to make. We're then going to fold along the score marks here. And we are going to run this through the die cut machine in a second but first we're going to use our delightful tag topper punch we're going to open that up and it holds up to two inches but we're still going to slide this piece in you just have to get it past the track there and get it in and what i use for a guide is the sides here and i just try and make sure that they look about even and when they do I'm gonna push it all the way in. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna give it a punch. I'm gonna move that to the side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You see these pieces that are sticking out? We're gonna snip those off in a minute, but let's go ahead and slide this one in. And I'm gonna make sure that these two sections are even, that it's all the way in, and I will give it another punch. So these pieces we have to discard. We don't need those. And we're gonna use our paper snips here and we're just gonna trim straight across and trim those two little ends. Make sure that it's straight there. So we'll trim these two ends right here off of our punch. So that's what you have left. Now we're gonna go ahead and run it through our mini cut and emboss machine. So here it is. It's super cute. It's normally $60 in the US and we are going to be, it's on sale for the month of March um, and it is 20% uh, off. So it's only $48. We're going to use this greenery die and when you get this stamp and cut and emboss machine, it comes with plate number one. It comes with two number twos, a number three, and a number four. Number four says right on here used with 3d embossing folders now this set is not a 3d embossing folder if it was it would say so on the package 
they say 3D on there. This one doesn't have that, so it is that. And another way to know is they are a lot thinner and you can bend them. The 3D ones, you can't really do that too. So that's another tip. This one here says use with standard embossing folders, and that's what we have. It tells us that we are gonna use plate number one. We're gonna put our little sandwich inside and then plate number three. So we will not be needing two. So let's move that out of the way. So here's plate number one. We're gonna make our little sandwich here. And so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna be sliding in this embossing plate right to the score mark there. And I'm just gonna try and get it even on both sides. We're gonna push this through. And then we're gonna grab our plate number three and position it in. And we're gonna go ahead and crank it through our machine. I'm gonna put my hand on, hand on the top. It helps to go through a lot easier. Let's pull it apart. We'll get our stack ready for the next one. So when you pull it off, there is that beautiful embossing. Now we gotta do this side, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna slide it in. We don't need the bottom. I want that to not have any embossing on it. So I'm gonna put this folder in just like this. Slip that paper to the other side. Then we're gonna place our embossing folder number three on the top. I mean the, the little um, shim. And we're gonna crank that through the machine. And didn't mean to slide it all out. We take plate three off, plate one, and we slide it out. We now have two embossed areas. So let's go ahead and close the machine. I have this um, purple tape on the top, which I like to use when I have a steel metal plate that I need to keep in place. And um, like I said, this comes in a two pack. So you get two embossing plates, and this is what the second one looks like. So there's two in this greenery embossing folder. So I'll slide those back in, get those out of the way. So now we have our little chick, our base for our chick. Okay, this is what is going to form her. So we're going to take our two scallop circles and I'm going to fold them in half. So I'm just going to bring the scallop to the other side and I'm just going to press them closed with my fingers. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Join those just like that. I'm gonna trim the flower. So these are gonna be the two feet that stick out. And then I'm gonna leave a little bit here to put some adhesive on. I want that part to stick out from the chick. We're gonna put adhesive on this side. So that is what we're gonna do with that one. We're gonna trim that piece off. I'm gonna snip off this section of our die. I don't want it to have that little that little thin stalk on there. And we're gonna fold our little mouth in half. So I'm gonna kind of get it even as best I can. The, whoops, <laughs> the two peaks towards each other. And I'm gonna just put my finger back there on my nail and push and form like a little base at the back. And if I slide my bone folder in here, it will help me to have that and I can hold it in place while I bend those pieces. And that little ridge is gonna give me something to glue, put some glue on back here so that I can um, glue the little mouth on. And let's go ahead and put the eyes together. I'm gonna grab my silicone mat and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We have two eyelids and two eyes, one eyeball here and here's the other one. So those are our pieces. Um, we're gonna go ahead and glue the eyeballs on and we're gonna glue those a little bit below the center. So I'm just gonna put a dot of adhesive there on each of these. And I'm going to grab my tweezer. I'm gonna go ahead and attach those little eyeballs onto that dot of glue, push those down. And then we're gonna trim, there we go. We're gonna trim the eyelids. So I don't want it to go straight across. <clears throat> I'm going to curve it a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of make like a, a crescent moon shape. 
And once I have it in place, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one and lay it right over the top. Make sure they're even and I will hold on to it and I will trim it the same way, leaving a crescent moon shape on that side. So that's how you make the two eyelids. So you have those little crescent moons there. We're gonna go ahead <clears throat> and put a little bit of adhesive on the back. So we'll flip them over and get some wet adhesive on them. There's one and here's the other one. All right, they just wanna stick to my fingers. That's why I like to use the tweezers. So we're gonna go ahead and put those two eyelids on. Isn't she cute? So we give her her little eyelids there. And let's do the other one. And on these eyelids, I'm gonna put some lashes. So I'm gonna grab my Stamp and write marker, and I'm just going to give her about four or five eyelashes. So those are the eyelashes, and we are going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back. So we'll put one on each of the eyes. And also on the wings, I'm going to put two dimensionals on the inside and two on the inside of this. That will give the wing a kind of opened effect. So let's go ahead and pull the backs off just like that and we're going to go ahead and close those and it'll kind of give it an open look so that's what those are we're going to go ahead and put some adhesive we'll move these out of the way for right now the eyes we're going to put some adhesive on the feet section so we'll shake some down here just like that and we're going to go ahead and bring this section on here so that the little feet stick out and then I'm going to press that down to really grab that adhesive. This lovely adhesive, the nice thing about using the silicone mat is that anything extra will stay onto the mat. So let's make sure that our feet look good and they do. I like them. They're cute. We're going to roll that off. And let's go ahead and attach the wings. So for the wings, I'm also gonna use two dimensionals and I'm gonna put them in the corners here. I'm gonna pull the backs off. And we are gonna attach this little wing like so. And then we'll put the other one on the other side. So there's the little chickadee wings. And now let's go ahead and do the face, but we're gonna go ahead and put the candy in our cellophane bag. So these are printed gusseted cellophane bags. I'm gonna grab my jelly beans. I'm gonna open my bag here. And I'm just gonna pour some to the inside. I want to be nice and full. All right, sorry for the crinkling. But that gives us a nice, full little jelly bean sack, okay? We're gonna sit this right in the middle. We're gonna twist this top section. And we're just gonna hold it in place, just like this. I'm gonna grab my ribbon and my ribbon is about 12 inches. It's our bumblebee gingham ribbon. And I'm gonna go in one side of the hole there from the front. And then I'm gonna go out the other side. 
I'm going to do the same thing with this ribbon. I'm going to go in, this time from the back, and then I'm going to go in through the front hole, and I'm just going to hold on that lamp there. All right, and that's going to tighten just like that. And then I'm going to take this ribbon. I'm going to bring it this way. Sorry, guys. That will tighten our bow up. And I'm going to bring um, this one here. I'm going to bring it around the side and bring it also in from the front. You're just basically trying to secure that cellophane bag and seal it closed by pulling on the ribbon right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow now and that will finish holding my cellophane bag into place. So I'm just going to tie a little bow, bring it through here, and give it a nice tight pull. And then I'm going to yank on these tails here. Till I get my bow the right size for my cute little chickadee. There she is. Let's grab my ribbon scissors here. And we're going to trim these little ends. I don't want them too long. So we'll trim those. And now we can put her little face on. We're going to add her little beak and her eyes. We'll start with the eyes here. So we'll put them on the mat so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool here. We'll pull the backs off of both of those dimensionals. I'm gonna put one right there. I'll put my little bag in. And one right there. Those are the eyes. So cute. Now the final step is gonna to be to glue the beak. So we're gonna add some wet adhesive. Whoops. We're gonna put it on this little lip, lip right here. Just like that. Whoa. It's falling right out of my hands. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. I'm gonna put my finger back here so I have something to press that beak on with. And then I'm gonna grab my bone folder. I'm gonna straighten it out here where it's straight. I'm gonna open her mouth and the glue is only gonna go where it has been placed. So I'm just gonna press my bone folder in that center section. My finger is on the inside behind it so I can give it a good press. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close her little beak. Push our little jelly beans on the inside and there is our chick now on this one I chose to go back over the lines I wanted the lashes a little thicker and so I'm gonna do the same here I'm just gonna use the brush tip and I'm gonna make these lashes just a little thicker on both sides here just like that so there is our adorable little chick. I hope that you like her. I certainly do. I have used the greenery embossing folders, the pierced blooms dies. Let's put her here so you can see her. And don't forget about um, the layering circled eyes, which I use these all the time, so you must be used to them already. <laughs> um, but I do use those quite often in my projects. I hope that you've enjoyed watching me. I haven't enjoyed putting this together for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this week so far. We have one more day, so definitely tune in tomorrow and see my last video for the second week of Easter projects. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a like, a comment, definitely share my video if you can. I'm trying to grow my channel. That would be so helpful. And subscribe. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just hit me up, send me a message. Um, my email is attached in the description below, or you can 
just let me know in the comments and I will be happy to get with you and we can make it happen. Thanks again for watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!